Hey there, this is Vamsi from smartnessproxy.com and if you didn't know, we love streaming and video games. So we've combined both of them and made videos for streaming devices for Apple TV, Mi Box, individual TV games and a bunch of those. And now we're on to Fly TV Stick games because obviously there's enough audience for that. I mean, you can't play two-player games like you can on Nvidia Shield where you can just download Nvidia GeForce Now for Steam games and whatnot. But if you've got nephews or just kids or neighbors, you know, you can hook up a Bluetooth controller and play some really cool games. I'm gonna use the Fire TV Stick 4K for this video, but it should work with most Fire TV Stick. So without any further ado, let's get started. A sleephead platformer that pays homage to the SNES games and not just lip service, as it gets nostalgia right by not emulating any one game, but the entire NES catalog like Ninja Gaiden, Zelda 2, Castlevania, DuckTales. It's one of the best pixel art games in the past few years with tons of DLC to boot and regular new playable characters that switch things up. You can't play this with Alexa voice remote, but you can with a controller. Badlands is not your traditional Mario-esque platformer as it keeps things interesting with challenging environments and new concepts. The levels are designed with skill and challenge in mind and are very engaging visually too. New enemies and obstacles add a bit of variety in the mix. It's only available in six countries, a la US, Canada, New Zealand, Italy, Spain and Argentina, so if you wish to play it, use a VPN or even our very own SmartDNS proxy, which comes with a VPN and SmartDNS to help you unblock all the zero-stated content and keeps your laptop secure, from prying us of course. And yeah, Badlands is not officially available on Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K, you can only really find it in the second gen Fire TV Stick. Well, it turns out you can easily sideload the Android app of handheld onto the 4K version as well. It works flawlessly in our testing so far. Okay, this one is not exactly a Fire TV Stick game, but I'd still recommend it if you have kids over the age of two to five at your place. This is the app that comes in handy. When you open the app, it shows you the playlist for kids' videos without any ads. It's not only optimized for the bigger screen, but all the features work flawlessly as well. You always can sideload the official YouTube Kids app. I tried it and it works fine. So check it out. This isn't a game in itself, but it's an open source emulator to play all of your retro games from SNES, GBA, and much more. I mean, you'd need a bit of installing APKs and downloading ROMs yourself. If you're up for that, search and download the game's ROM and sideload it onto your Fire TV stick via USB. We've done a separate video on this, which should be in the description below. And bonus tip, you can also do this on Kodi. If racing is your thing, then this is the best your Fire TV stick can offer. This game challenges you to perform dynamic, high-speed aerial stunts in an intense driving experience powered by a brand new physics engine. You'll hit the ramps taking the race upwards as you perform barrel rolls and wild 360 degree jumps. It's as much fun as it sounds, but the mileage varies on how good you actually are in the game. It's a free to play game and is ad supported, so there's that. I did notice that the game lags a bit in the older gen Fire TV stick, but it works perfectly fine if you've got the Fire TV stick 4K. It's a fun game for both kids and adults alike. And not just that, you can easily change the layout of the controller by going to the game settings and control. Are you a fan of puzzle games? If not, skip this one. But if you are, Quell and its sequel are some of the most challenging and fun games as much as Portal games. I'll tell you, these games making you think laterally to solve these puzzles, which just usually are the ones that go, aha! It's an immensely satisfying moment. You need to move the raindrop to roll it across the screen and collect shining pearls. You'll be challenged with different obstacles which will make you change the tactics on the fly. It runs with Alexa voice commands too and we're in the future ladies and gentlemen. This endless runner is so addictive but not in an evil pay to win mobile kind of way. It's incredibly simple yet tense as the stakes get higher for the score and the traffic gets more challenging to maneuver. This also is a free to play gem that never pressures you into spending money. It's been on many platforms for years and it's a good one to get your wee ones hooked on while you smoke the bowl upstairs. 
So those were some of the best games that are available for Fire TV Stick. I mean, I'll have to admit, those are not the creme de la creme of the games available for most platforms, but they're good enough to keep your little ankle biters off your remote. And you can play most of them with either the remote or a controller. And we've made other videos on Fire TV Stick, like best apps and tips and tricks. Those are some of our best videos, so give them a watch. As always, I'm Vamsi and a ya boy makes videos on game design. So if you're keen on that, go check out my video at Player's Narrative. As always, see you in the next one.